Hello everyone. Welcome to Power Electronics. In this session, I will be discussing on the steady state characteristics of MOSFETs. The MOSFET, like a BJT, is a three terminal device where the voltage on the gate terminal controls the flow of current between the output terminals which are source and drain. The source terminal is common between the input and output of a MOSFET. The MOSFETs are voltage control devices and have very high input impedance. The gate draws a very small leakage current in the order of nano amperes. The current gain which is the ratio of drain current ID to input gate current IG is typically of the order of 10 to the power 9. However, the current gain is not an important parameter here. The transconductance which is the ratio of drain current ID to the gate voltage VGS defines the transfer characteristics and is a very important parameter. The transfer characteristics of the N channel and P channel MOSFETs for both depletion and enhancement type are shown in figure here. It should be noted that the gate to source voltage at which the MOSFET triggers is denoted using two different notations based upon whether it is an enhancement type MOSFET or a depletion type MOSFET. For depletion type MOSFET, it is denoted by pinch of voltage VP and for enhancement type, it is denoted by threshold voltage VT. We note that for depletion type MOSFET, VGS for N channel depletion type MOSFET, the pinch of voltage is negative and the current is positive. For P channel depletion type MOSFET, the pinch of voltage is positive but the drain current is negative. Coming to the enhancement type, the threshold voltage for N channel enhancement type MOSFET is positive and so is the current but for P channel, the threshold voltage is negative and so is the drain current. The output characteristics of a MOSFET are then a plot of the drain current ID as a function of the drain to source voltage VDS with the gate to source voltage VGS as the varying parameter. Figure here shows the output characteristics of an N channel enhancement type MOSFET. Here there are three regions of operation. Cutoff region where the gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage. Second, the pinch off region where the drain to source voltage is greater than or equal to the gate to source voltage. And lastly, the linear region where the drain to source voltage is less than the gate to source voltage minus of the threshold voltage. Here, the th uh, cutoff region is not indicated but you can imagine whenever the gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage, that portion of the graph would be called as the cutoff region. The saturation region of a MOSFET is also called as the pinch off region and this is the region where the drain to source voltage is greater than or equal to the gate to source voltage. Lastly, the linear region is where the drain to source voltage is less than or equal to the gate to source voltage minus the threshold voltage of the device itself. With the gate to source voltage VGS below the threshold voltage which is VT, the MOSFET operates in the cutoff region. No drain current flows in this mode and the applied drain to source voltage VDS is supported by the body to collector PN junction. Therefore, the maximum applied voltage should be below the avalanche breakdown voltage of this junction and this is denoted by VDSS in order to avoid destruction of the device. Coming to the next region, when the gate to source voltage is increased beyond the threshold voltage, the drain current starts flowing. For small values of the drain to source voltage VDS, that is when VDS is less than VGS minus VT, 
the drain current is almost proportional to the drain to source voltage. Consequently, this mode of operation is called ohmic mode or linear region of operation. In power electronic applications, a MOSFET is operated either in the cutoff or in the ohmic mode. The slope of the drain to source voltage versus the drain current characteristics in this mode is called the on state resistance of the MOSFET and is denoted by RDS on. Note that this resistance reduces with increased value of gate to source voltage. This is mainly due to reduction of the channel resistance at higher values of gate to source voltage. Hence, it is desirable in power electronic applications to use as large a gate to source voltage as possible subject to the dielectric breakdown limit of the gate oxide layer. Due to high drain current and low drain voltage, the power transistors are operated in the linear region for switching actions. At a still higher value of drain to source voltage, that is when VDS is greater than VGS minus VT, the drain current versus drain to source characteristics deviates from the linear relationship of the ohmic region and for a given value of gate to source voltage, the drain current tends to saturate with increase in the drain to source voltage and the transistors are used in this region for voltage amplification. Note that the pinch off occurs exactly at the drain to source voltage VDS equal to gate to source voltage VGS minus the threshold voltage VT. So this line what you are looking at is what actually is the pinch off line. It should be noted that saturation has the opposite meaning to that of the bipolar transistors. The exact mechanism behind this is rather complex. It will suffice to state that at higher drain current, the voltage drop across the channel resistance tends to decrease the channel width at, at the drain drift layer end. In addition, at large values of electric field produced by the large drain to source voltage, the drift velocity of free electrons in the channel tends to saturate. As a result, the drain current becomes independent of the drain to source voltage and can be determined solely by the gate to source voltage VGS. This is the active mode of operation of a MOSFET. Coming to the next diagram here, the steady state model which is the same for both depletion type and enhancement type MOSFETs is shown in 3A and the equivalent for the same is shown in figure 3B. The transconductance is given by Gm equal to drain current ID divided by the gate to source voltage VGS at a given value of VDS. That is why we say it is ID by VGS when VDS is constant. The output resistance R0 which is equal to the drain to source resistance is given by change in the drain to source voltage divided by change in the drain current. And the output resistance is normally very high in the pinch off region, typically on the order of mega ohms, and is very small in the linear region, typically on the order of milli ohms. For the depletion type MOSFETs, the gate or the input voltage could be either positive or negative. But enhancement type MOSFETs respond to a positive gate voltage only. We will come back to see that here. However, depletion type MOSFETs would be advantageous and simplify the logic design in some applications which require some form of logic compatible AC or DC switch that would remain on when the logic supply falls and VGS becomes zero. We end this discussion on the static steady state characteristics of the MOSFET with an important note here. At this point, the similarity of the output characteristics of a MOSFET with that of a BJT should be apparent. Both of them have three distinct modes of operation, namely cutoff, active and ohmic or 
saturation for BJT. However, there are some important differences as well. Unlike a BJT, a MOSFET does not undergo secondary breakdown. The primary breakdown voltage of a MOSFET remains the same in the cutoff and in the active modes. This should be contrasted with three different breakdown voltages for a BJT. In BJT, we have VSUS, VCEO and VCEO. They are the breakdown voltages. It is discussed in one of my previous sessions. Lastly, the on-state resistance of a MOSFET in the ohmic region has a positive temperature coefficient, which allows paralleling of MOSFET without any special arrangement of current sharing. On the other hand, the collector to emitter saturation voltage of a BJT has negative temperature coefficient, making parallel connection of the BJTs highly complicated. Before I conclude, I would like to discuss about the safe operating area of the MOSFETs. This comes under the switching limits of the MOSFETs. As in the case of a BJT, the operating limits of a MOSFET are compactly represented in a safe operating area denoted as SOA diagrams. As in the case of the forward biased safe operating area of a BJT, the safe operating area of a MOSFET is plotted on a log to log graph. On the top, the safe operating area is restricted by the absolute maximum permissible value of the drain current IDM. Okay, which should not be exceeded even under pulsed operating condition. To the left, operating restriction arises due to the non-zero value of RDS on corresponding to VGS equals to VGS max. To the right, the first operating restriction is due to the limit on the maximum permissible junction temperature rise which depends on the power dissipation inside the MOSFET. This limit is different for DC and pulsed operation of different pulse widths. As in the case of a BJT, the pulsed safe operating areas are useful for shaping the switching trajectory of a MOSFET. A MOSFET, as we already have discussed, does not undergo secondary breakdown and no corresponding operating limit appears on the SOA curves. The final operation limit to the extreme right of the SOA arises due to the maximum permissible drain to source voltage VDSS which is decided by the avalanche breakdown voltage of the drain to body PN junction. This is, please note, an instantaneous limit. There is no distinction between the forward biased and reverse biased safe operating areas for a B for a MOSFET, they are identical. Please note for a BJT, they are different. Due to the presence of the anti-parallel body diode, a MOSFET cannot block any reverse voltage. The body diode, however, can carry an RMS current equal to IDM. It also has a substantial surge current carrying capability. When reverse biased, it can block a voltage equal to VDSS. For safe operation of a MOSFET, the maximum limit on the gate to source voltage represented by VGS max must be observed. Exceeding this voltage limit will cause dielectric breakdown of the thin gate oxide layer and permanent failure of the device. It should be noted that even static charge inadvertently put on the gate oxide by careless handling may destroy the device. Therefore, the device user should be ground should ground himself before handling any MOSFET to avoid any static charge related problems. So that is about the discussion on the steady state characteristics of the MOSFETs as well as the safe operating safe operating area curves of the MOSFETs. Thank you.